Hi everyone and welcome to this Fan Art Friday video. This time I want to work on a drawing of the Colossal Titan from Attack on Titan. I did work on a drawing of the Colossal Titan a couple of years ago, back when I'd just started using the Copic markers. So I really wanted to reattempt this and put into effect all of the recent techniques that I've learnt and uh, that comic style layout with the, the comic panel in the background. I want to add more of an environment and just I've worked on a couple of Titan drawings recently, so I just wanted to work on this one to add to that collection because I love working on drawings like this. So as you can see, for the initial sketch, I tried to go for an angled view of the Titan. Uh, while I was working on this, I was looking at a particular scene of the show where the Titan suddenly appears next to the wall while Eren is standing on it and the Titan is just looking down on him. In terms of the foreground, I wanted to add some details here with an angled view of the wall as well, along with the Titan's hand on top of it. Uh, just uh, really challenging myself with some extra details in this drawing. I also wanted to add the comic panel in the background and have the Titan's head kind of overlapping it to add more of a 3D effect overall. In terms of the pen outlines, I was using a Copic Multiliner SP 0.03mm and I spent a long time on the outlines, making sure they're as smooth as possible. The initial sketch and the outlining process probably took maybe two or three hours in total, just purely because I really like to make sure those lines are as smooth as I can possibly make them. Um, I feel like it really does help the end result and uh, I love the effect it gives these these larger drawings. Once the outlines were completed, it was then time for the colouring. And for the colouring of this drawing, I used Copic markers, starting off with the Colossal Titan's nose. Um, for areas like this, I started with some warm grey markers, ranging between 1, 3 and 5. And then to add shading over the top of them and to add more shape and depth to some areas, I was using the cool grey markers ranging between 1, 3, 5 and 7. Then to help define some of the details amongst the dark shading that I added, I was adding some outlining with a white Prismacolor pencil. And also to add some extra details uh, along with highlights, I was using a Uniball Signo Broad white ink pen. For the colouring of the muscle fibres between all these areas, I started with a base layer of colour with a crimson marker. Then over the top of that I used a cardinal marker to add some darker streaks of colouring. Uh, after that, that was the base layer of colour completed, so then I wanted to add some shading over the top. Um, and for this I used a mixture of cool grey 5 and 7, and then around the outside I added some extremely dark shading with a black marker. So with the, the colouring and the shading added, I then added, wanted to add some highlights, so that was when I brought out the white Prismacolor pencil to add some streaks of highlighting first, and then I used my Uniball highlighter pen to add some kind of specks of highlighting along the strands of muscle fibres. And I was really pleased with this, it, as soon as you start adding the highlights, the, it kind of gives this shiny effect to them, and it really makes them stand out. For the colouring of the Titan's eyes, I worked on the whites of the eyes first using the cool grey markers and then for the colour of the eyes I used a mixture of smoky blue and night blue. And then I also made sure to add highlights with the highlighter pen, uh, making those eyes stand out as much as possible amongst all of the darker shading. And after that I just continued the same processes for the rest of the muscle fibres and the tendons and the ligaments around the Colossal Titan's face. Uh, the process was super fun. When it came to, to working on the tendons and the ligaments I tried to uh, start with a base layer of warm grey one and then just built up the shading in certain areas making sure to have some really contrasting areas between highlights and shadows and then adding some extra highlighting along the ridges on those areas um, just adding more shape and some interesting details it was super effective once I started adding some darker shading with cool grey seven um, and it just added more depth to the, some of the areas. And then when it came to working on the muscle fibres, I found it extremely helpful to make use of the black marker. It added more depth and shape to a lot of the areas, and when it came to working on the muscle fibres, I didn't want them to look too flat, so that's why it was just extremely helpful. I've also recently loved using my highlighter pen, not only just for the standard highlights that I like to add to the eyes and the nose and that kind of thing, but also to add some extra detail to the drawing. So in this case, adding some highlights along some of the ridges to contrast the darker shading that I added. Also to add some extra texture to the, the tendons and the ligaments. And just generally adding some extra detail that I previously wouldn't have been able to add. I've also found it helpful in adding 
uh, some contrasting textures. Uh, so in this case, between the muscle fibers and the tendons and the ligaments, I wanted to make them look super different in terms of texture. And it wouldn't have been so possible without the highlighter pen. That helped me so much throughout this entire drawing. Once I was happy with all the details I added to the Colossal Titan, with the muscle fibers and the tendons and the ligaments, uh, and all of the outlining I added around the outer edges, it was then time for me to work on the environment around it within the comic panel. So I started by working on the wall in front. I made sure to add some dark shading towards the bottom with a black marker and blended upwards with cool grey 7 and 5. And then I added some detailing within that with a white Prismacolor pencil, adding a few highlights to show the kind of the separated bricks and some of the damage where the Titan has rested his hand. Then for the hand itself, I used the same colouring processes that I did for the muscle fibres and the tendons on the Colossal Titan's face. Uh, just made sure to add extra dark shading around this area, making more use of the black and the cool grey markers. But also made sure to add lots of highlights with the highlighter pen. Lastly, for the final details of this drawing, I wanted to add the steam in the foreground and the background, uh, all the steam coming from the Colossal Titan. For this, I used a 6B pencil, um, added a full layer of shading first, and then used a blending stick to smooth that shading. And then over the top of that, I used a small eraser to add some highlighted edges and to, to help define uh, all of the, the steam clouds. Uh, I made sure to do this across the background as well. Then for the final touches, I used the highlighter pen to add a highlight going all the way around the Titan, and to add some lines sweeping across the image to add some movement. And after that, this drawing was completed, and overall it took about 9 hours to complete in total, which is an extremely long time for these drawings, um, but I think most of the time was down to the pen outlines and the, trying to create the differing textures between the, the tendons and the ligament and the muscle fibres. Um, I had a lot of fun tr trying to attempt these different textures, and I, I really hope you enjoyed watching this. Please let me know what you think of this drawing in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future drawings, uh, fan art, fantasy art, or any tutorials, please let me know. They're hugely appreciated. If you want to see more drawings like this, then make sure you're subscribed, and any likes or shares on this video, they really mean a lot to me. If you want to follow my progress and keep updated with all of the things I work on through the week, then be sure to check out the links in the description box below to check out my Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And once again, thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot and I love working on stuff like this. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you all soon.